Hey guys, I'm Meteorologist Chris Tomer. Let's talk some mountain weather, and it's all about the storm track right now hitting the Pacific Northwest. Here are my headlines because what will happen is um, it's going to spin off two different storm systems. The first one is the smaller storm system of the two, and that happens 15th through the 17th, California, Utah, Colorado, Wyoming, New Mexico. The second one, which comes in 20, 21, 22, is going to be larger for the west, the Intermountain West, and probably a notch colder as well. The first storm system is going to run a little bit warm. So that's the way I, I think it's going to shake out down the road. Let me just show you um, and just follow up on the sleeper snow, which I had talked about all weekend. It verified. Aspen snow mass, six, seven, eight, nine inches of new snow. Great skiing. Today's a powder day in Colorado. Snow um, steamboat um, all the way across a winter park. And Loveland reporting some, some new snow as well. Up in the, uh, the Wasatch, uh, 10, 11, 12 inches of new snow. Uh, the Tetons, four, five, six inches of new snow. So that verified that fast moving front into today. Now we'll look ahead to those two storm systems I mentioned. And here's the pattern. Jets basically running directly into the Pacific Northwest and curling down like this. So that fast moving front or sleeper snow, um, the front was is right here now. It basically raced over the top of the ridge and then down and hit Utah, Wyoming, and Colorado and produced that snow between yesterday and today. Now what matters are basically these two low pressures right here and they're big and they're both headed for the Pacific Northwest but a piece of this one will spin off and move into the Intermountain West and a piece of that one will do the same and the second one is the stronger than the first one. So let me show you what the interpretation is here from the GFS model and um, let me take you into Tuesday morning. So there it comes. Storm system, Pacific Northwest. A piece of it will come south and hit Northern California, Tahoe up into Shasta. But again, it's a warmer storm, so watch out for high snow levels. Then it makes its way in. There's Tuesday night, Wednesday morning. Wednesday, some snows through the Tetons, Utah and Colorado. Low spins up in Colorado that night into Thursday morning. Here's the 17th snow through Colorado, then the storm exits and it heads for the northeast. Here's Saturday the 19th, the morning. This has it as mainly rain. I've seen colder solutions than this. So my forecast going forward will assume that it's going to be colder than this. Um, and then that moves out. All right, so here's the, uh, the morning of the 20th. Next storm system, larger of the two, moves into the Intermountain West. And then it affects, in a much more significant way, Utah, Wyoming, Idaho, Colorado, New Mexico into the morning. Here's the morning of the 21st. Low spins up. Here's the morning of the 22nd. And by the 23rd, it's gone. Let's talk some numbers. Here are my numbers all of today through the 18th. In, in Utah, um, I'm saying 3 to 6 inches with this next storm system. 15, 16, somewhere in there between the 15th and 16th. Um, and in the uh, the Tetons, anywhere from 6 to 10. So as low as 6, as much as 10. In Colorado, 2 to 7, 3 to 6 down in northern New Mexico. And Pacific Northwest will do just fine, a foot or two, maybe three. I like Red Mountain and Fernie. I think you're in good position with this next wave. All right, so here is phase number two, the 19th through the 23rd. Now this is what captures that second colder stronger storm system you can just see it the numbers that I'm projecting are two to three times bigger than this first storm system so we could be looking at 10 to 12 across the Wasatch maybe a foot or more in the Tetons and if the low spins up in Colorado we could be looking at a foot to two feet we'll see it's way down the road but that's a possibility depending on how far north that storm track truly is and how much colder air cold air there is look at big sky in good shape with this Pacific Northwest gets another shot of snow, and a little bit for California. It's just not seeing a ton of snow out of either storm system um, for, for California. Um, there may be a rain-snow problem with the first one, and the numbers with the second just are not that impressive. All right, let's look at the Northeast, and let me just go into detail on what I was talking about earlier. So the numbers in the Northeast assume that the Saturday storm on the 19th plays out colder. Um, that's where most of this accumulation comes from. If it's warmer, then these numbers all go down. But right now, this is assuming that colder storm system on the Saturday. Then this actually captures some additional snow down the road through the 23rd as well. But that's where most of those numbers come from. All right, well, that's the way it's going to play out at this point. What I'll do is end on these west totals all of today through the 18th. 
Again, this is just the first smaller storm of two. The, str the, st the st stronger, colder storm comes in on 2021-22. Take care, guys. Always appreciate you tuning in.